Hello everybody and welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Uh, before I begin this, I wanted to uh, point out a, a nice funny question I received from one of my subscribers and I believe the question was something like, I dare you to do a video and talk fast. And my reply was, sure, but I would need more RAM. Okay. For this video, however, uh, I'm going to show uh, potential Linux users or Windows users who want to try Linux for the first time. I'm going to show you the nine ways that you can try and or install Linux, specifically Ubuntu-based distributions. Now, what we have here, uh, basically what I have here are basically uh, screenshots, non-copyrighted screenshots, shots off the web, so I will not get in trouble due to copyright infringements. Okay, what we have here is a screenshot of Ubuntu and the file browser. With distributions like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Zorin, you can actually run the operating system off of a live CD which allows you to try the operating systems before you install it if you choose to install it. This is very nice if you are brand new to Linux and somebody like me recommended something like this, Ubuntu's Linux Mint or Zorin, just to try it out to see if you like it. And if you like it, all, all you would have to do is reboot, boot from the CD itself, and then choose the installation option. So from here, you have the live boot, or running it off the live CD. Uh, you can do this from a DVD and or a CD. Uh, for Linux Mint and Zorin, I believe, you have the options of trying the different versions of the operating systems. I preferred to download as much as I can and burn it on a DVD, so I, I, I would have all the software and or the codecs I would need so my operating system runs right out of the box. Okay, next up would be booting off of a USB stick with a pre piece of free software called UNET Bootin. Now what this allows you to do is uh, download this free piece of software, download your free operating system such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or Zorin, install it onto the flash drive, and then boot from the flash drive itself. Keep in mind however that many older computers will not allow you to boot off a USB stick. However this is just another way to boot off or to try Linux booting off a USB stick without having to burn up a CD or a DVD. Okay, the next way that you can try, uh, or rather install Linux, is what I use here on my desktop, and this is the Wubi installer. Uh, this piece of free software you could also download um, for free, of course. It allows you to install Ubuntu or Linux Mint and actually install the Linux operating system inside Windows. This is probably the easiest and safest way for a Windows user to try Linux without any harm or screwing up your Windows operating system. However, that being said, when you do this or any kind of installation, always back up your important files. Now, by the way, I'm, I'm running this screencast in Windows for a reason, just to show you that. I have used Wubi for this desktop, and if I wanted to remove Linux Mint, all you have to do is go into your Add and Remove Programs under Control Panel, click Change slash Remove, and delete your Linux operating system if you didn't like it. So for new Linux users, uh, this is probably the safest way to install your Ubuntu Linux Mint Zorin system. I take that back. I don't believe Zorin is capable of using Wubi. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. If I'm wrong, someone correct me. Okay, moving on. Another way that you can uh, try and or install a Linux-based uh, system is to use what a, is a, uh, a piece of software called VirtualBox. This is a screenshot of a VirtualBox system with Fedora. Uh, this allows you to install multiple operating systems. They don't necessarily have to be just Linux based onto your computer and then allows you to run these operating systems inside your existing host operating system. I think I'm saying that right without any damage or harm to your base operating system. And what's nice about this, again, you can install more than one operating system. If you are going to use VirtualBox, I would suggest that you have lots of RAM and a pretty beefy, jazzed up 
system. Moving right along, you have three other ways that you can install Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or Zorin. This is the installer, a screenshot of the installer, which says allocate drive space. Now, if you already have Windows installed as your base system on your computer like me, you would have an option like this. Install alongside other operating systems, erase and use the entire disk, specify partitions manually. I usually use the top option install alongside other operating systems and then click forward and go from there this is usually the easiest and safest method to install Linux alongside your Windows operating system once again back up your important files just in case something goes wrong the second option if you of course wanted to delete Windows or together of course you can you would choose erase and use the entire disk the third option, uh, which is sometimes called custom partitioning, specify partitions manually. And of course, in, in parentheses, it says advanced. I don't recommend this if you are new to Linux. It's easy to mess up, to miss a step, to make a mistake like I have in the past, and then you know have to start from scratch. So as far as installing, I would not choose the last option unless you know exactly what you're doing. By the way, if you choose the last option, or any option for that matter, and your uh, computer, the installer, whatever is screwed up and you cannot boot or the bootloader is messed up, I highly recommend that you have a Windows operating system disk ready to go just in case something happens. However, that being said, if you choose the top option, listen up Windows users, very important choose the top option install alongside other operating systems you should not have any problems whatsoever okay well that's it that's the many ways that you can try and or install Linux on your existing Windows computer again this screencast is mainly designed for Windows users who are thinking about trying Linux or who are scared or who are new like I was many years ago but I'm not scared anymore and I actually enjoy using both Windows and Linux and for my one subscriber who wanted me to talk fast I hope I haven't talked too fast enough if I've been talking too fast then I need to take out one of my RAM trip chips inside my brain haha <laughs> All right, guys, girls, that's it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Bye-bye.